we have to open our eyes. We have to open our eyes. No, not us. The front office needs to open their eyes on the situation. Okay? J.J. Ortega Whiteside, did you see that last night? Did you see that last night? I mean, that was just a great pass by Gardner Minshew, by the way. Great pass. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, why are they trying to justify that this has got to be the last straw? This has got to be the last draw. Howie Roseman's got to look at this and say, oh, my God, like I messed up. For the past couple seasons, Howie Roseman has been trying to justify this pick. He has been promising us, oh, J.J. looks better. He's going to do – he's not going to do a damn thing. You know why? Because this was the wrong pick. I never even heard of this guy when he came out in the draft. They have to end this whole thing. Eagles are going into the playoffs. Eagles are making changes. Eagles have to add more competition at wide receiver because – J.J. Ortega Whiteside not only has, what, two receptions for the year, okay, but he's just a no-show. He's just there to block half the time. Pretty much it, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having a wasted body. I'm tired of having a guy that just, just doesn't care, period. He just needs it. It's like, you know what, I can't even blame J.J. He just sucks, and it's not his fault he was drafted here to be a starter. You know what I mean? Like, he should be like how – I mean, he should – I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't. I do know. But it, it's it's over. It's done. Like, th- there's no there's no trying to fix this or try to give him another shot. Look, he can stay on the roster if he wants next year. But I'm telling you right now, you got to add more competition because – this guy literally made the team over one stupid preseason game. The third preseason game had one good game against fourth fifth stringers and made a roster spot, which was the dumbest, weirdest thing ever. Travis Fogelman would have played better than him this year. Everybody's played better than him this year, period. Because you don't have a wide receiver that's on in your lineup that is out there to, and then teams automatically know that when he's on the field, he's not going to go for the ball. He's there to block most 95, 98% of the time he's there to block. But that, did you see that? That was just, what, what is he here? What, that, 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 that couldn't have been any easier through his hands. Makes no sense to me. But I'm not done. Not only him. Okay, not only him, but Jalen Rager is another one, which is pissing me off, getting on my nerves. I have stayed so strong for Jalen Rager to think that he would turn around, to think that, you know, in preseason he was catching everything. In the scrimmages, he was catching everything every single week. And I thought there was a new Jalen Rager coming out. There was a new player, the player that we wanted. Now, Quez Watkins, that's the player he should have been right there. Enough that we have to congratulate this guy when he has a good kick ret- punt return, which is never. He's had two good punt returns this year. That is it. Mostly, he's been in negative yards every single game. Most of the time. Most of the time. The most he'll do is 40, 50 yards on a good day. Maybe. That's just, that's going over the top. Okay. Okay. What I saw from these receivers today, Devontae Smith broke the broke the Sean Jackson's rookie record which in yardage, which I was really happy about. Que- and, you know, then they benched him. And then obviously Quez Watkins stayed in the game for a while. And, you know, he had the screenplay touchdown. He had a, a few good catches in this game last night. But Rager has done absolutely nothing. 20, 21st pick of the draft. Justin Jefferson on the board. It makes me sick. And I really just kept giving this guy... Every single week. The Eagles have done more than enough to give this guy his chances every single week. If we get into it, when we get into this playoff game next week, I would love for Rager to do something. Not saying that if he does one good thing, it's going to, it's going to change, you know, it's going to change everything. Like I'll be like, okay, good play, but I need to see more. Like I haven't seen enough Jalen Rager, what he could do, but I don't think there's anything there. Because mentally, he's just a mental block case. 
And that's just what it is. It's just him mentality. Or he's just a bust. I don't know what it is. But he's looking like he's a bust more than anything. And it, it it's aggravating. Two picks that are on the field. Your second round pick in Ar- Arcega Whiteside and your first round pick in Jalen Rager. Two seasons ago. And you still, and you still have no production from either one of these guys. But you have a fifth or sixth rounder in, in Quez Watkins that could do so much more. And I was a big John Hightower fan. And people were telling me, wait till Quez gets the, gets his chance. He's going to show it. I didn't believe anybody. But I, I shut right up this season. This off, this preseason, you know, the offseason, and, and Quez Watkins played fantastic. They made some mistakes here, guys. And next week in the playoffs, this week, whatever, whenever you're watching this video, okay, they got to show something here. Unfortunately, we have to use, unfortunately, we have to use Rager because we really have no, there's really no, you know what I mean? We don't really have a choice. Greg Ward. They should use more of than J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. There's a, there was a time this past season where J.J. was taking Quez's snaps. I mean, it's just stop justifying that pick. And this pick, I mean, at least the Eagles have given Jalen Rager more than enough opportunities to show that he, can't, he played in this game against backup corners. No Anthony Brown, no Trevon Diggs, and he still, and this isn't the first game where we faced backup corners, Tampa Bay. We faced teams with backup corners, and Rager has done nothing, nothing at all. Okay? So, it really pisses me off. We need to get better at this position. I mean, you would think we would be done with wide receiver by how many wide receivers we've drafted. Holy crap. But we got to do better. And hopefully, at least if this is going to be, you know, if this is right, Ra- and Rager might, is probably going to be here next year, okay? Most likely. But unless he's trade bait, they can, if they can somewhat get rid of him in a trade, I don't know. I don't know if that's even the case. JJ think a white side's got to go. I don't care. Practice squad, waste of time. Just get them out of the building, period. So that's all I got to say about these two players and just how ridiculous both of these players are. And this is Howie Roseman's fault with two of these picks. And that's just the end of it. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. And I will see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow us Peace out, guys. Peace.